We were trying to solve for our users having access to our fiber backbone even when they're outside their homes. We thought a lot about what we could do to enable this kind of ubiquitous connectivity throughout our fiber hoods, and we realized the answers were actually all around us. Utility poles. I mean, we're already invested in building a fiber network using these utility poles, so we thought, why not make them even more useful? To activate a fiber pole, download the app for your Android or iOS device. When you're at the pole, tap the QR code three times. The technology inside the pole will recognize your unique code and send you a confirmation. Now you're connected to Google Fiber. It's just that simple. Our Fiber to the Home service has created a lot of excitement in Kansas City. I look forward to seeing what Kansas Cityans will do with fiber poles. I personally love them. Before, when I used to forget to download my maps or my audiobooks, I would freak out. Now all I have to do is pull up to a fiber pole, plug in, my content is downloaded super fast, and I can go about my day. Google Fiber coming to Kansas City has completely energized the tech scene here. And Fiber to the Pole now is taking that to the next level. We have these spontaneous hackathons. It's attracting tech talent from all around the city. People are flocking here. We are pumped. Our pole is seriously the hottest one out there. It's a destination for hackers from all around the country. I mean, there's a guy here from Minnesota right now just for Fiber Pole. It just means so much to us here. I haven't seen my husband in over a week. The kids and I just go visit him at the pool where he's just there, working on his laptop. This pole, it's like a second home to me. We can even get food delivered. It's great. For years, research has shown that technology has made us more isolated. Google Fiber to the Pole is fundamentally changing the way that humans interact and will make for less socially awkward technologists and less isolated communities. To find out more, visit google.com slash fiber slash polls.